This is level two. Wolf, it is I, Sahasrala. Objects is, exist simultaneously in both worlds with similar shapes. And the form of a... Th if the form of a thing changes, it will affect the shape of its twin in the other world. That is... This is an extremely good puzzle. I love this fucking puzzle for level two. Right as soon as you step into the level, you can't go any further into the level. And you get a cryptic fucking message like that and it's it really doesn't outright like tell you what to do it just kind of gives you this vague hint so what you're supposed to do is I don't need these bombs they're, they're just bombs in this chest I think I think these are bombs what you're supposed to do is come over here pull this thing and then that releases the water. As you can see, there's water flowing through here now. You see that's water. That blue stuff down there is water. You can also get this heart container thing, but we're not going to do that. Because those are for noobs. And as you can see, the, the pond is still drained over here in the dark world. And this is filled with water now. So now we can swim across this and jump up here and go through the level. That is a fucking amazing puzzle. Whoever designed that is fucking awesome. Let's kill these fucking things. Oh god. I hate these things. Okay. Level 2, go! Yes, there's a key here. I think this is a key. Or a map. Also good. These things. Where did these things come from? Like, were those taken from another game? Because I think I remember those in, being in Mario 2. Or did Mario take that from Zelda? I don't know. I think just in general, like, slime enemies are just kind of a... It's a Japanese thing. Wait, did I? Was there... A, no, I thought I heard like a, a chest appeared. The the a chest appeared noise. Oh god, that was dumb. Every time you swing your sword in this room, that thing shoots out a fireball in the general direction that you're in. Fucking die! Come on. Alright, now we go up here to pick up a key. I think this is a key. Okay. So I guess this is kind of like the water dungeon of the game. Gonna come over here, move this over here. And then that thing fills up with water there, and then that uh, allows us to access a thing. By the way, um, quick side note, I, I know that they're making a... Um, uh, my monitor is just going to keep turning off. They're making an HD remake of Wind Waker, or, yeah, Wind Waker. I am I think that is a dumb fucking thing. Like, Wind Waker doesn't need a fu- I'm not saying that I don't, that I hate Wind Waker or something. Like, Wind Waker is a great game, but we don't need an HD remake of Wind Waker. Like, it already looks pretty good. It's not fucking HD, but it, it looks, it's, it looks good. Far better than fucking Ocarina of Time did. I mean, that I can understand there being an HD remake for. I think we gotta push these and this it does a thing. Like really, the HD remake from what we've seen so far, it really doesn't look that much better than the original uh, Wind Waker game. And what I heard was, I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard like, we found the new the 
compass, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we got a compass. I heard, like, at Nintendo, they were considering either doing a Wind Waker remake or a, um, a remake of A Link to the Past or, like, a 3D version of A Link to the Past. Like this game, but, like, in 3D, like an Ocarina of Time's perspective. Or, um... Like a, a complete sequel to A Link to the Past. And I, of all of the, they picked the absolute worst fucking thing in that list of things. Like, why didn't they fucking? Even if they're just like, I, I'm really not a fan of like all the remakes that Nintendo does. Like, not not to say that I'm against remakes, but they like overdo it like so hard. Like everyone at Nintendo just like remakes the shit out of their own games. Like, pretty much, like, every, like, Pokemon generation is gonna get remade, like, at least once. Or, like, okay, once, to be fair, once. Uh, I think I should... No, I shouldn't be here. I need to hit that... Hit, the, hit a switch or something. I got a key, though, so... I need to go up here. Like, I really, I would, I would love to see a new Zelda game, or like even, like if they're gonna do a remake of a game, like honestly, I, I don't think I could even call you. I don't think it's even fair to call like a 3D version of a Link to the Past a remake, cause it's, it's like so different. It's not just a remake. Like this game in 3D, like would be very different. It wouldn't it really wouldn't be the same game, I don't think. It's got the same title and everything and the same dungeon names and item names and all that, but this game would play just significantly different in 3D. And I would love to see that. Oh my god. Again, for those of you who don't know, this is my favorite Zelda game ever. Um, kind of wondering where I should go. Think to the left. I think I can push these. Okay. But yeah, like... I don't know. I don't know. I'm just... Ugh. I'm. I'm really, like, fucking... I'm... I know I'm probably gonna get like people people watching this video hearing me say this they're probably gonna like you know get a a bad vibe from me they're gonna be like rubbed the wrong way about what I'm about to say like ah really shit I'm really sad with the way that Nintendo is going like these days I'm just like all of their like major franchises are just like in a decline. Like every single one, like Mario and Metroid, and Zelda, fucking even Kirby. Not Smash Brothers, I would say. Smash Brothers hasn't. Brawl was, I would say, Brawl was a, a step up from Melee. And I know people. There are a lot of people who prefer um, Melee, which is cool. Melee was a great game, but I just I prefer Brawl. But like fucking uh wait a minute. No, I don't have that yet. Mm, did I miss the thing? I think I might have missed something somewhere. Did I? I may have. I didn't really. I just gotta. Okay, I know what I gotta do. I have to hit that switch, and then I gotta fall back down here, and then I can get over there. So I gotta find where that switch is. But yeah, I mean, like, fuck, I'm I'm sick of new Super Mario Brothers games. Like, they need to stop fucking doing that. Like. Like, the first one was alright, the second one was pretty good, but, like, they all, like, 
they all look and feel the same and they don't even it seems like they're not even really trying to make them like all that unique like new super mario brothers uh 3ds or the new super mario brothers 2 like that whole thing was that like you find coins everywhere and you there's coins and stuff and it's all about finding more coins and it's just like Every Super Mario Brothers game has kind of been about finding coins. I mean, like that's not the object like the object of the game is to find coins and even in that even in New Super Mario Brothers 2, the object of the game isn't to find coins, it's to beat the fucking game. But I mean, I just thought that they were like totally overselling that whole fucking like that find a shitload of coins and get your beat your best times and all that shit. I don't care about that. And I just think it's kind of insane that like they all look like so incredibly similar. Now we got this and now we got to go back a bit and get something. I don't know like I really like the art style for some of the levels in uh, New Super Mario Bros. U, is that what it's called? The, the one for the Wii U, whatever that one is. Art style is cool, but it looks like it plays exactly like every other New Super Mario Bros. game. Boing, this is the hook shot. It extends and contracts, and boing, it can grapple many things. This is the coolest fucking thing that Zelda has ever come up with, ever. And it was either this game or it was Link's Awakening that introduced the hookshot. I forget exactly which one it was. Whichever came first, that's the game that fucking introduced the hookshot. Because I don't, I don't think the hookshot was in Zelda 1. I know it wasn't in Zelda 2. So yeah, whatever the third one was, that's when this all happened. This is awesome. I love the way that sounds. It just... It sounds like a metal thing. <laughs> it just sounds really cool. Ah, I love the hookshot. And like, every Zelda game that I play, like... As soon as I get the hook shot, like I don't even like use any other item. Like that's this is like always my active item. The fucking hook shot. But I am gonna try to not rely on like just the hook shot or just the bow like so much. I really haven't had to use like any magic though. See, cause the hook shot is essentially just It's essentially a bow and arrow. In that it can damage enemies. And it stuns some enemies, it damages others. Ah. Um, I don't think I should be going here. Yeah, I shouldn't. See, that's awesome. Dude, this item rocks. I also really like the design for the hookshot. Like, I like the way the fucking... The, like... The chain isn't even like connected, it's just kind of like it doesn't even make sense. Like <laughs> how how does the how does this even happen? Like this It's cool, it's just like a weird chain thing and it just kinda like <laughs> That looks awesome and like the chains are like all animated like super fast and it that just looks really fucking cool. Yes. Hookshot from A Link to the Past. Monitor is gonna just turn off. Okay, so now we can go in here and do a thing and. Yeah, it stuns some enemies and it damages others. We can pull this. Th we can't pull this thing. Never mind. Oh, excuse me. Anyway, what I was saying before... Oh, we shouldn't be here. <sighs> what I was saying before, like... I'm pretty sure that there's like a feature in, um... 
the new Super Mario Brothers Wii. The one for the Wii, not the Wii U. I don't know if it's in the Wii U one also, but like, I'm pretty sure there's a feature where like, you can just allow the game to play itself. Like if the game is too hard, you can just let the computer control Mario and it'll beat the fucking level for you. Like that's ridiculous. Like that's, I get that it's not a thing you have to use and all that and you know, like, but that's just ridiculous that that's there. Like, why? Like, you should, like, players should be punished for sucking at your video game. Like, I'm sorry if that sounds like harsh, but that's just the way it is. Like, you get game overs if you die too much and you have to re you lose progress and stuff. That's just the way video games are supposed to be. I get, you know, like, it's really not something you have to, to use, but it's just... And the fact that you can't even die in Kirby's Epic Yarn, like... I, I think. I never played the game, but I, I heard that you can't die in Kirby's Epic Yarn. If that's really, honestly, the truth, then that's... That's insane. I get that it's supposed to be, like, all cute, but, like, really? Are we getting to a point where dying in a video game is, like, too... Is that like too grotesque or something? Is that too mature for kids now? Like... <laughs> no, no, little... No, Billy. When you die, you just turn into a little spool of yarn. It's, it's cute and it's wholesome. Don't worry about dying. Don't fear death. Don't fear the reaper. It's made of yarn. Oh, shit! Um... I don't like this, by the way. I don't, I'm not a fan of this. Actually, I'm curious if this will work. I don't think it will, but whatever. What the hell? I can... No. I didn't explore all the rooms, did I? What? I guess this is what you're supposed to do. You're just supposed to kind of like lure them all over here and then... And then you just do, do this. Oh shit, they're like so fast though. Ah. Okay, I'm, I, I could go to the, the boss room right now, but I'm pretty sure I... I didn't explore everything. There's, there's, I missed stuff. And I don't like missing... Was it just that one room that I missed? It could be it. That room is over here, I believe. So yeah, I, I'm, I like this too. Like this, this is a really awesome like little puzzle here. You come into this room and you see that there's a room over there. How the fuck do you get over there? Okay, let me see something. Okay, the room I'm in now The room I'm in now, it's showing that there is another, um, there's another room to the top right. I don't know if that's, if that showed up just because I already went into it or what, but even if it did, like, the fact that you have to, like, look at your map and figure out where the hell to, I've been here. Did I go down? What's, what's, what's here? I've been here already. Curious about what this is. Oh shit, there's stuff here. See? I could have left this behind. 40 rupees. Okay, so that's all there, that was there then. Ah, that was so unfair. But yeah, like it didn't... There was really like no hint that you could go through the waterfall other than that there was a room there. Observational skills, kids. They're important. This video game is encouraging good observational skills. Whoa, what the hell? That was weird. Okay, so now this is the second boss. We gotta kill it. Pull these things at us. 
pretty much just keep doing this for a while. And then when all these things die, a thing happens and then part two of the boss fight begins. What are these supposed to be? Like little clouds? Like I don't even understand what this is. And it jumps. And then you gotta hit it. Not really too hard at all. But it's variety, and that's always good, right? And it's dead now. Don't think I even got hit. And there is level two completed. Okay. Ah, stretching is good. Oh, another email. Wolf, because of you, I can escape from the... I'm not going to do that anymore. Wolf, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. The Triforce will grant the wishes of whoever touches it as long as that person lives. That is why it was hidden in the Golden Land. Only a select few knew of its location, but at some point that knowledge was lost. The person who rediscovered the Golden Land was Ganon... Ganondorf? Ganondorf the Evil Thief. L luckily, he couldn't... Huh, that's interesting. I never knew that they mentioned Ganondorf in this fucking story. I knew Ganon was in this, and I'm sorry that's, that's a spoiler for you guys, but really, come on, this is Zelda. I didn't know that they actually referred to him, like, as Ganondorf in, like, his human form. I thought that started in Ocarina of Time. Is that in Zelda 1 or 2? Like I said, I, I never really, like, paid too much attention to the story of this. But, yeah... The Golden Land was, uh, Ganondorf rediscovered the Golden Land. Luckily, he couldn't figure out how to return to the Light World. Well, remember that you have magical powers, which only the hero can make the most of. There are some other magical warping points, like the one you saw on Death Mountain. By using them, you can go between the two worlds and find the evil, find the evils hidden in the Dark World. You are the only one who can destroy Ganondorf, the thief. No. Ganon, the evil king of darkness. Do you understand? Yeah. Of course I do. May the way of the hero lead you to the Triforce. Swing. Okay, so we're done with level 2 now, and we got the fucking hook shot. Um, let me take a look at the map really quick. Alright, I don't need to go to the bottom left or the bottom right for anything. Looks like there's a cave I could check out in the bottom right, but I'll go there way later. Fuck it. I don't want to fucking... Mm, I can't get that yet. Alright. There's really like only one thing I can do at this point. Well, there's, right, there's only like one thing that I kind of, sort of, maybe not really need to do, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, that was, that was weird. I am going to buy a green potion. I think my monitor just turned off. It did. That was weird. Okay, so... Again, I don't need to buy a red potion because one fairy, I'm th I think, heals all of my hearts. Uh, the blue potion is really just a red and green combined. Hmm. It's kind of weird. I wonder why the green potion kind of stands out more than the blue and the red potions. Like the sprite just looks clear. It looks more saturated. Hmm. But now we got green potion. This is the medicine of magic. You can recharge your mystic energy with it. Good to have. All 
Alright, now I'm going to go somewhere that's closer to the third level. And this is pretty close. Yes, I'm going here. Okay, I know what... Okay, I know the, the, the last four items are. I know exactly what they are now. And... No, I can't... No. I can't get any of them right now. Yeah, okay. Going to level three. This is the wrong way to level three. Uh, arg. What what happens if I use magic powder on these guys? Nothing happens! Shit. I should be using the hook shot to fucking make things quicker. Okay. Ah, uh, it doesn't reach all the way. I love the hook shot, it's awesome! Alright, we're back in the village. Weird ghost thing. And this is the level 3 area. Oh god! That's not fair. Oh shit! Those things are fucking lame. These are the, uh, I think they're called like likes, and uh, their official name is like like, I think. I forget like where the official like level three entrance is. There's a level three is kind of weird in this game. Like there's a bunch of entrances to it. But here's one of them. I'm gonna jump down this one just to see what the fuck it is. 